Hello again everyone and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. So in this one I'm going to show you how to build this four block drop down bridge that I showed in my last video. And this here is just going to be a quick tutorial where I show you how to build it block by block and it's meant for those of you who might want to include it in your own builds or if you just want to have a quick look at how the redstone works by yourself. Let's say this is the block where you want your bridge to start. So you would have a platform coming out something like this, and then the bridge will extend out this way. So what you want to do is to go up four blocks, one, two, three, four, and this is going to be a roof level. So on top of that, we're going to put a double piston extender facing down. Then we can get rid of these two blocks, and we're going to add one piston coming in from this side, and one coming in from this side and then we're going to add one uh, piston facing down on the left and an observer facing down on the right. So this is the piston layout and you can extend this as far as you want basically. So you do have a 15 block limit due to the redstone reach limits. Uh, so if you need more than 15 leave a comment below and we'll get back to how you can fix that. But again, for now, I'll just build four. So extending it out exactly the same, like this. Now let's get through the actual redstone. So we'll start on this block and extend some slabs going up like this with redstone on top. So this is going to power these pistons down here. Then we want to power these pistons, the double extender from this wire here. And we're going to power these pistons like this. And then the last block is going to go up one step. Then let's go from this point, put redstone here as well. We're going to go out from this point with a slab, a block. And then we're actually going to have an observer facing this way. So I'll just replace that. We're going to have a block like this, a block here, and a block going up like this. Then from this point, so we're going to add three repeaters like this, and the last one is going to be set to three ticks. Then we want a block on top of here, a three tick delay repeater going this way, and we're going to keep the signal going from down here, so a one tick delay repeater like this. So that's going to power a dropper, which is pointing this way, and the signal is going to go through the dropper and into two repeaters down here. So one on four ticks on, and the other on one tick. We're just going to power a sticky piston facing this way with an observer facing up. So that's basically the first layer of the redstone. Now we're going to add a hopper uh, facing this uh, dropper here. And inside the hopper, we're going to put five unstackable items. So I like to use wooden shovels just because they're the cheapest unstackable items you can make, and those are going to flow into the dropper. Then we're going to take a comparator output from the hopper, going into a block. We're going to have two repeaters, one on three and the next on four. It's important that the three tick delay repeater comes first and then the four tick delay repeater. And we're going to take observer outputs from both the comparator and this first repeater here, like this. And we can put redstone on top of both of these um, observers. Then we're going to need a regular piston, which is facing this way, which is powered by this particular repeater. And we're also going to need one right here. So let's see. This um, piston here is going to be powered by a block that's going to be sitting here, but it's going here for now. And that will be pushed by a piston facing this way. So when this extends, the block will be able to butt power this piston here. And we're also going to have a sticky piston facing down like this with a redstone block in front. Actually, it's going to be sitting down next to this hopper. And which is going to power the hopper and also this competitor. Then from that redstone, we're going to take a two tick delay repeater going into a block, two blocks like this with four tick delay repeaters on top. 
we're going to take one final limb server, put it right here, and with a block on top, a block next to it, with a two tick delay repeater on top. And then we need uh, one single last block, which is a powered rail. We're just going to set it right here and update this piston. Okay, so this is actually it. This is the entire redstone circuit that's required, hopefully. So let's test it out. Uh, and as I mentioned in the showcase video, you need to send a one tick pulse into this block. So the easiest way to do that is to just put an observer facing down and we'll put a lever on top, replace this block here. And hopefully when we toggle the lever, it's gonna pull this bridge up. See it extending. And it works. So we can just make sure that the extension works as well. It's the exact same thing. Yeah, and that's really it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the explanation video. One small thing that I forgot to mention is that, as you can see on this finished design here, there are stair blocks under the observers, and that's because they will actually power down through this block if it's a solid block and power the pistons on the side and it's going to mess up. So the way to fix that is either like I've done here, which I think looks the nicest, is to build your roof out of something that has stair blocks like quartz or wood or bricks or stone, like stone brick or stone, yeah, stone brick. And uh, that's going to solve your problem and it's going to look seamless from the bottom. Alternatively, you can of course use like um, sea lanterns in some kind of symmetrical pattern, like you could have lighting, you know, glowstone or sea lanterns going across like this, but in my opinion that doesn't look as great. But the quartz stairs works fine, so that's what I would probably recommend if you have the possibility.